On today's episode, I'm going to show you guys an item that technically one defense peer should have never been able to wear, but due to an oversight on Jagex's end, this item has been able to be used by all one defense peers for the last few months, and I just am now discovering it. So stay tuned for today's episode. Let's get right into it. All right, boys, so I am trying to test something out that I actually heard from a viewer of mine that mentioned that if you imbue a black mask, not at Nightmare Zone, but at Soul Wars, which requires 500 points, you could potentially, as a one defense peer, as I am, you are able to wear a black mask on your account. I don't know how legit this is. I could be burning 500 points for nothing, but this is something that I've heard. It doesn't work with Nightmare Zone. It only works with Soul Wars. Apparently it's bugged some way, somehow. I think the item ID is different from when you go to Nightmare Zone versus um, Soul Wars, but we're about to test this right now. Let's actually go to Trade Nomad. Let's go to Imbues. I could be burning 500 points, but hey, it's for the content. So let's select the Black Mask. Let's imbue the Black Mask. 500 points, boom. It, we now have a Black Mask eye. Now boys, for the moment of truth, can I wear this on my account? <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. What? I really didn't think this was possible. Wow. Yeah. Boys confirmed. I mean like look, I, I'm not kidding. Like, let's let's check the stats really quick. The defense matches up exactly. 15% slayer on all styles. That includes strength, or that includes melee, range, and magic, and we're getting the same defensive bonuses. Now, I'm not sure if I can make a Slayer mask out of this, but I was really just trying to test this out to see if we're able to, to wear the black mask eye, and it seems true. Now, the question is, can we imbue it into a Slayer mask and use it the same way? I'm thinking not, because maybe the item ID is different for a Slayer mask versus just the black mask itself, but Guys, as a one defense peer, you can wear a black mask. So, yeah. Um, maybe we can go to some POH and maybe test it out to see what our damage is looking like. But this is nuts. Like this is this is kind of like this is kind of crazy. We're gonna test this out with a few different things just to let you guys know of the differences. But none of the items here, aside from I think the necklace of anguish, should increase my overall max hit. Now testing out my max hit with the Twisted Bow, with Eagle Eye on, and without the Black Mask, I am hitting 55s. Wow, okay. Now let's test this out with the Black Mask Eye. Test out the max hit. Holy shit. <laughs> it works. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's crazy. And we're not in DMM mode, nothing like that. We're, we're in normal, like, a normal world. <laughs> like, regular OSO, I'm in world 330 right now, testing this out. So let's actually try the chain mace, so in case we wanted to go to the wilderness, for some reason we wanted to risk max, you know, melee bonuses. Let's test out what our max hit would be. With ultimate strength on, let's test this out without the black mask. We're hitting... 31, this is pretty decent, but Chain Mace with the Black Mask Eye, we're hitting, from 31, we're hitting 36. That's an extra 5 damage. That's insane. Alright, testing the Blowpipe with Eagle Eye on, with Anguish and Blowpipe, no Black Mask, we are hitting 21, pretty decent. Now let's do it with the Black Mask Eye. Our max hit goes from 21 to 24. Forward, extra three max hit with a blowpipe. I mean, that's that's pretty substantial for a one defense peer. Again, one defense peer. There's no there's no tricks. There's no gimmicks. It just for some reason 
the black mask eye is bugged beyond beyond reason and i'm not sure why um you know jagex this is something you should probably look into um before it gets abused on a heavier scale i highly recommend but yeah this is this this isn't looking pretty good <laughs> to be quite honest with you guys yeah i think that definitely needs to be looked into i'm not really sure why it, it operates like this how a one defense pure can wear it if they imbue it at soul wars versus nightmare zone i'm not really sure why i'm assuming the item id is just bugged when it in, when it's imbued and it just kind of like you know overlooks all of the requirements to wear because you do need 10 defense to wear this um, my next thing is to test to see if maybe we can make a Slayer Mask out of it. It'd be kind of interesting to know if I could. That would be even broken. Um, but at the moment, it exists in the game. Not sure why, but Jagex, I have I highly request that you look into this. This is not really uh, something that should be happening. So today, uh, Jagex came out with an update in relation to Group Iron Man, which is really great, really awesome. But something that they kind of uh, snuck into the updates, I've been kind of keeping uh, track of some of the updates related to the Black Mask. As you guys know, that's something that really shouldn't been in the game for one defense peers to use. But as I was kind of inspecting uh, the recent update, as I click on my Black Mask, let's go pull it up really quick, my imbued Black Mask. Originally, as you guys saw, I had the opportunity to wear it. But as I click it now to wear, is now saying that you need a 20 strength 10 defense and a combat level 40 to wear the black mask so it is confirmed that the black mask imbued has been patched and for some reason or another from soul wars you were able to imbue it and i guess it just looked over the requirements to use it but it's now confirmed that it's been patched officially and you can no longer use it which is kind of sad but you know I, i'm kind of happy with it you know it kind of would have devalued a lot of the people who worked really hard to get their 99 slayer cape on a one defense pure account honestly at the end of the day i'm happy that they kind of they patched it because you know i don't want to devalue anybody who spent all the work to get 99 slayer without the black mask uh you know for all the one defense peers out there who actually grinded without using it so it's kind of cool that they made the patch but i'm really happy that um you know jackx did this but again i'm also a little pretty sad because i kind of wanted to use it i thought about it but, eh, you know, it is what it is. So I actually didn't realize this. So you can actually uncharge it and you'll get 400 zeal tokens back. Um, I guess that's good. I think I can imbue one of my rings actually. Now I think about it. We're gonna uncharge the black mask, get 400 zeal tokens back. And black mask imbued has been removed. Let's actually go to the imbued section. Oh sweet, 260 tokens, so I can actually imbue my Archer's Ring, which I've been trying to do for a little bit now. So that's actually really cool. So now I have an imbued Archer's Ring, which is fantastic. Probably want to upgrade the Berserker Ring. Not, not as important, but I'll probably end up doing a few more games of this. But nice little unlock on the account. Archer's Ring got unlocked for free, essentially just from unimbuing the Black Mask. So it's still... I still made out a little bit on it, but uh, and actually, we can actually sell this back to the GE as we have no use for it <laughs> anymore. But that pretty much concludes today's video. I hope you guys found this funny, enjoyable, and insightful actually, because something that I didn't actually realize in the game was actually introduced and I had no idea about it. So it was really cool I was able to record it and show you guys, but unfortunately it has been patched, but uh, you know, fortunately and unfortunately. so. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification to keep up to date on the latest progress on this account. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, OSRS underscore little dot chi chi. And yeah, that pretty much concludes it. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.